All right, so we got an issue today with uh, one of our chairs from the concourse area. You can see it's uh, it's wobbling, and it's not the bushing that's actually in the shaft here that holds it in. It's actually from the ba the base of the seat itself is loose. So we're gonna re weld that together today, or weld that together today to get it to where it stabilizes again. I'm gonna get the uh, sockets. We're gonna get that chair off the bottom of the actual seat, the pedestal. All right, so I've got a, a 13 millimeter socket, ratchet. I'm just gonna remove the bolts from the base here. The nylon lock nuts. Probably just loosen them up and then I'll stand it back up. And remove them by hand so that the chair doesn't strip these threads trying to come out at an angle. Alright, so they're all loose. Just gonna stand it up. Remove them by hand. Yeah, we welded this one before, one time already, I can see. Just right around this, this shaft through the center here, we welded it, but it looks like it broke the weld. So I'm going to go ahead and grind all those parts back down, uh, get to me where I can t uh, really bond it a lot better together. Just throwing enough sparks, so I'm gonna probably move this uh, project to the outside. I'm just taking. I'm gonna take my time cutting around all these edges, trying to clean this up. I'll probably show you a couple of them, and I'll probably pause the video. I do have hearing protection in, and some eye, eye protection as well. get you to a better angle where you can see what I'm doing. As I'm cutting as much what metal is off as I can to get close to the shaft, I'm also lightly brushing this flat surface of this giant washer basically to make sure I have some, a good surface to weld to. So hopefully it, it adhere for a lot longer for next time.
clean this area up a lot better. Uh, I just started going around. Uh, I do I do not have a guard on right now. I wouldn't recommend everybody doing that. This is a very brittle. It's a cutting blade, not a grinding blade. It's very brittle, so I wouldn't recommend anybody try doing it the way I'm doing this. So I'm going to work around the rest of it. I'm not going to make you watch it all. Uh, I'll just clean this up and then I'll get you back on here with me whenever I have it cleaned up to show you the final result before we weld it. Alright, so for the most part I've, I've ground a good spot all the way around here where I can tack it back together and weld it. I'm probably going to suspend it maybe in the air so that the gravity of the pedestal below it will pull this down and make it set flat. If not, I'd have to run wedges. Actually, I'd have to run wedges up underneath of it to hold it up tight before I weld it because I don't want the chair to sit crooked. So I'm going to go ahead and get the welding stuff out right now. So you can see what I was talking about. I got two saw horses and I just have the pedestal pinned between them and the gravity of, of the of the actual weight of itself, and the feet and everything is pulling down which hopefully is going to keep that seated flat while I weld it. I'm not really going to be properly dressed to do this. I don't have a lot of the uh, spatter protection but uh, and from the flash. But I do have gloves. And I'm going to try and keep most of the surface of my skin below where the light can hit it. So I won't get the, the uh, flash burns. As I'm recording, I'm not going to record the actual welding because I don't want to screw up my camera or the actual exposure on my camera that I have. We've got a spot ground where the clamp is on the side there. I ground it out in the actual metal part of the seat. Down in the center of that chair, that uh, shaft that goes straight down in, it's about three inches long maybe, it goes into a plastic bushing. I really don't want the plastic bushing to melt out, so I'm going to get some air in a can down in the center and try and cool the lower part of the shaft to keep it from melting. I am holding my breath while I'm working. There's a lot of fumes coming up in my face. I'm going to go ahead and get a fan out here to circulate that air away from me. Get that smoke out of my... More air in a can keep it from uh, melting that bushing out. I seem to have, be having a problem with my feed. Guess a little bit of that slag got back up in the tip and was binding my line from feeding out. I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera because I'm going to switch sides. I'm just not going to move the camera to uh, give you a different view, but I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to mess up the exposure on my camera. Alright, uh, it's not the most beautiful of welds, but there's a big gap to cross with that 
line fed weld pack. Hopefully it should do good uh should hold up well enough just for people sitting on it. Shouldn't be any wobble anymore. We'll take it in and we'll put it back put the seat back on it. Alright, so we're gonna set the chair back in. Feel solid. Universal shouldn't be a front or a back. Just having a little issues dropping it in. I didn't want to mess my threads up. All right, we're all in. Gonna go ahead and secure it. Put the nuts, nylon lock nuts, back on the bottom here. Solid chair again. See how long this one lasts. 